Hi, I'm Dina with Mills Family Gardening. I've never grown clover as a cover crop, and this year I would like to try to grow it for the first time. Today is October 22nd. We live in gardening zone 8A, so we have milder winters. We still get freezing temperatures going down to 20 degrees Fahrenheit. Just recently, we harvested our fall corn here, and back in the spring, we grew spring corn. It did really well. I did not pull the plants completely. If you come closer, you can see that I left the stuff in the ground so the roots would stay in the ground and improve the soil. I simply cut down the plants to the ground level. And actually the soil in this in-ground bed is not bad. Over the years we added a lot of cow manure and compost and so we have heavy clay soil but as you can see the soil has gotten much better and fluffier. I'm not going to dig the soil I'll just fluff it up with a rake a little bit just so when I sow the seed the seeds will get in contact with the soil real well and then I'm not going to cover the seeds I'll simply water them with a hose and when I water the water will actually push down the seed more into the soil that way the seeds will stay moist this is what clover seeds look like they're not big and they do not need to be covered with soil so I'll just leave them on top of the soil and I'm just going to sprinkle the seeds without putting them in rows I'm not even going to walk on them to help them to get in contact with the soil I'll simply water them with a hose. As you can see we have drip lines here and I think I might try to grow radishes along the drip lines because radishes grow pretty fast under a month and we can plant them all the way till November 1st. While the seeds of clover are sprouting radishes might be growing alongside with them and we will harvest them before clover gets too big. Today is December 10th and our clover has come up and it's growing nicely. We've had a couple of nights when the temperature went down to 28 degrees Fahrenheit height I did not cover the clover and in spite of that it's growing really well you can see that it's gotten much taller already and you can also notice that it's not spread out evenly that's because I didn't realize I didn't have enough seed for this whole in-ground bed so there's more clover growing on this side than on that side but that's okay this is an experiment this year next year hopefully I'll have more seed to cover the whole bed but I would like to point out that while clover is growing i planted several rows in fact five rows of radishes in between and you can see that they're already almost ready to be harvested so the good thing about growing clover is that it can be interplanted with other root vegetables that grow really well here in north texas zone 8a during winter today is february 25th and our clover is looking nice Back in January, we did have a bad freeze. Our temperatures went down to 10 degrees Fahrenheit and stayed like that for a few days. And I did cover this in-ground bed, but I did it more for radishes. I use them in our salads and they don't really stop clover from growing well. We also have a lot of henbit that started growing in late winter, but they all are growing happily together. So I'm not gonna pull out henbit just now. And also when it gets really hot here in Texas, henbit normally dies. Today is March 24th and this is what our clover looks like. You can see that it's gotten taken over by radishes and also other weeds like henbit and others. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to simply trim down all the weeds. I'm not going to pull them because the whole idea is for the roots to grow in the soil, improve it and stay in the soil and as the roots break down then the soil will become lighter. So I'm just going to use the pruners and prune everything to the ground level, making sure not to uh, damage our drip lines because they're still there on the ground. And if some radishes got, have gotten too large, then I'm just going to have to pull them like that. And after I cut down all of them, I'll have to cover this in ground bed with a tarp to make sure that the leftover plants here have died. And then in a couple of weeks or maybe in a week, I'll come back and I'll be planting corn in this bed. And I'm not going to be pulling all the roots and plants out, like I said. I'll just be planting corn seeds in between 
the leftover plants that we have here or leftover little stubs. Some of our clovers are going to seed. If I let it grow longer, it will produce flowers and then the flowers will dry and we will be able to harvest seeds. But that's not my plan. This clover here is just to improve the soil, so I'm not gonna let it go to seed. Well, that was an interesting experiment with growing clover as a cover crop. Am I going to do it again? I'm not sure yet. It's very possible. We'll see how much it helps the soil, but overall it was very easy to grow clover. Not too much work. I hope you all like this video. Thank you for watching it and have a great day.